One app that I've been using longer than any other for years and years is called Boomerang. I use it to manage my Gmail, and in this video, I wanna show you how I use some of the features and why I really love it, even though Gmail now does have some of the features, like it has a snooze option and a built-in schedule to send. Those were originally created in Boomerang. Now they are in Gmail itself, However, I still really love what Boomerang offers and I want to share why in this video. So first of all, if I have a message that I want to deal with later that's called boomeranging it or snoozing it in Gmail. If I press snooze in Gmail, you can pick a date and time, but you have to manually go through this. You can't just keyboard type when you want to reschedule it for. Whereas in boomerang, I can do it all with simple keyboard shortcuts. So I just press B to boomerang and I can say that I want this to come back Wednesday at 10 a.m. and then press enter and it would come back exactly then. You can also set up some custom ones that you normally might use. As well, what's really nice is you can say that you only want this boomerang if there was no reply. So I use that a lot if I wanna to remember to follow up on something for somebody who hasn't emailed me back. Well, I have that option to just press if no reply and then confirm. And also I can use with a note. And that with a note would remind me what I want to do with this email when it comes back into my inbox if I've rescheduled it for like a month out. So let's go ahead and do that and let's just schedule it for one minute from right now so that it will pop back up and you can see what that looks like. The same type of thing goes when you compose a new email. So scheduled to send allows you to just pick a date and a time, but again, you have to choose it from this picker and just manually choose everything instead of just being able to type as well. We can do a send later and a reminder, which I like that too. So like maybe I wanna send a message and if I don't get a reply, within one week, then it will boomerang back to me. So I can have both of those options just in one, which can be very nice too. So that's an additional feature that comes with the send later in boomerang. So let's go back and you can see that the message boomeranged back to me along with a little note. And that note is just a note to myself. Nobody else would ever see that. And I could go ahead and just delete this message and then reply back. Now in terms of let's go ahead and snooze this, let's say tomorrow at 10 a.m. In terms of finding your messages, it is pretty similar. So if you snooze them, it would go into your snoozed label, you would be able to press it and you would be able to see when this is snoozed for. In Boomerang, you have a Boomerang and a Boomerang outbox that you can go into to see those messages. So that behavior is very similar. There is in Boomerang, in addition, you can go to manage scheduled messages and you can actually get a calendar view. I sometimes like this and then I just drag and drop to batch my emails because sometimes I spread them out too much and I want to practice email batching. And then the last thing that I do really like in Boomerang itself is that I have the ability to pause my inbox and that stops new email from coming in until I unpause my inbox. So that will allow me to just work on getting through my emails without seeing new things coming in so that I can just do some focused work and I can also turn off my inbox for certain hours so that I can practice email batching better. So those are some of the emailing features. There's also a lot of other features in Boomerang that I didn't touch on, like meeting scheduling. That's a newer feature in Boomerang, but that's a whole nother topic. There's also some AI built in to help you write emails better. But again, just sticking to kind of the built-in Gmail functionality, comparing what Boomerang offers to what Gmail has with the snooze and their version of schedule to send. That'll be all for today. Bye.